right, so this is my storage unit. Um, it's cool, it's sad, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through it with an action cam strapped to my head because I figured this would be the best way to kind of show you guys around. Um, this is a 212 orange open back with cream backs. This is my black letter 5150. This is a coffee cabs 212. You guys have seen this stuff before. This is the cases for my RDs. Um, these are two real cabs and two dummy empty cabs from, from Rev that we used on the, uh, the used tour, that Drag Dunder toured with. A Supro Galaxy Line 6 Spider. Um, I have a brand new, this is a 410 uh, Mesa Boogie Base Cab. Um, let's see, Grunge Amp, PV Rage, you guys have seen this stuff. I have some kill switch engage. Actually, I just have a bunch of Fishman stuff. This is my stash of Fishman pickups. And the reason why I have so many is because whenever I find a set that I like, uh, whether it be for Dragged Under or whatever, I usually need at least more than one set, like two sets or something like that. So that's why I have so many because they're all sorts of different sets. Um, these are just kind of a fake 412 fronts. Uh, you guys have seen my 412 Art Alexakis Everclear uh, Maze Rectifier Cabinet from 1996. This is a Randall Century 200 solid state amp. You guys have seen this Rev Generator 100 Mark II. This is an 85 Marshall JCM 800 2203 that I had reshelled. Um, let's see. I guess, let's check out some guitars, I guess. Um, let's see. This is a Yamaha Rev Star guitar, which is very, very cool. It's very, very nice guitar. Plays well, sounds great. Got this from Yamaha quite a few years ago. Let's see, this is, this is my Betty White, as you guys have seen. This is the uh, Schecter Solo 6 ATX that I built Built the YouTube channel with, basically. Love this guitar. A lot of songs in that fiddle. Uh, let's see. This is my PRS Custom 22 uh, Special Order Artist Package with McCarty switching, which they don't normally do on a core model, which makes it pretty cool. Love this guitar. I got this from the guitar store in Seattle, Washington. This guy, this is a uh, Music Man, Ernie Ball, or Ernie Ball Music Man Armada. This was 
uh, Steve Stevens, uh, like backup B tour guitar for a Billy Idol tour or two. And it ended up in the, uh, the Ernie Ball showroom, no strings on it, collecting dust. And I, I took it, I stole it. I didn't steal it, but I did take it. And, uh, it's a great guitar. It really feels like Les Paul. And uh, they don't make these anymore, unfortunately. Really, really cool. Uh, let's see, this is... This is my, one of my old signature uh, Balaguer Hyperions. This is the uh, production serial number one. And as you can see, I mean, the plating's all worn off and it's just sweated all over and it's awesome. And I played the crap out of this guitar for several tours. And it always, it, it, it always uh, sounded great and never let me down. And uh, I took a lot of photos with this guitar the neck on this particular guitar was thinner than the other ones. This this guitar just had like this this crazy mojo. It just sounded really really good. Oh yeah, let's see. Let's see what this one is. Oh yeah, this is my Bernie Les Paul Custom that you guys have seen a gazillion times on the channel. Got this in Japan. It's a really, really great guitar. It's yellowed a little bit on the sides because it sat in the storefront forever and really, really, really thick body. Very, very cool guitar. Only thing I don't like about this guitar is the really, really small frets. Cannot stand those. Which is why I don't play it. Um, let's see what this is. Get out of the case. This is a cool guitar. It's a 25 and a half inch scale, which is cool. Um, when I got it, I immediately had to change out the tuners because the tuners actually stripped, the two of them did. Like the first time I go to tune it, I went to tune it and went thunk, and the tuner gears were stripped because they were, they were counterfeit Grovers. But this is a nice sounding guitar. It actually is a, a decent guitar. It's very heavy and it's awesome. Um, I don't ever play it that much though. Yeah. Love the color. Uh, let's see, I guess one more guitar we'll check out is, um, let's see what this is. This is a bass, obviously. Yeah, this is my black on black Stingray. That is very dusty because I didn't play in drop A sharp a lot. Um, and when I do, I use MIDI bass now, but uh, this was a really, really cool bass. Sounds phenomenal. All black, which is very, very metal. I don't know if you can see the dust on it, but uh, trying, to trying to wipe it off. But uh, yeah. Very, very cool bass. I used it for uh, drop A sharp. 
and it's a set neck or neck through. Yeah. Super, super cool base. And that is basically my, uh, my storage unit, my gear locker, as it were. I should actually probably sell some of this stuff. But uh, I can definitely go up. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's quite the, the sight to behold for sure. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you and then in turn you get more stuff to watch and also i have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video sweetwater giveaway stuff there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things so consider uh checking that out as well if you're gonna hang but if you don't hang all good i still love you